Well, I guess, you know, it's been pretty much doom and gloom for Texas Democrats, I think. So when you look at the overall result, you lose uh, Wendy Davis despite spending close to $50 million with Battleground Texas behind her with demographic trends in her favor, still lost by over 20 points. And pretty much that was the fate of the entire uh, Democratic statewide ticket. Democrats didn't pick up any legislative seats. They lost SD10 up in Tarrant County, where County Burton won. They lost three state house races uh, in terms of in, down in Houston. Marianne Perez lost, uh, Phil Cortez in San Antonio. And then Susan Chris was unable to retain Craig Island's seat in Galveston, Chambers County. So it was pretty dark for Democrats. Uh, you know, one, you know, uh, Nico LaHood won in uh, Bear County, but when you're going down to a Bear County DA race to find a positive, that's 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 not so good. Now, I think the silver lining, though, is for Democrats is that Texas, uh, well, has horrible participation rates. Okay, so voter turnout was down this election, even compared to 2010 when we ranked last in the nation. And so, if you're a Democrat and you're looking for some optimism, reason to have optimism in Texas. It's primarily that there are a huge number of non-voters out there, and generally what we know at least about some of them, or at least probably a majority of them, is that they are more likely to vote for you than the actual people who turned out on November 4th when things didn't go so well. So it's not particularly, I guess, a surprise, but it's at least, so given, in, given, given the sort of pessimism that has to be reigning, that's probably one, and this one other one is that I think you know, when we saw Dan Patrick beat David Dewhurst, there was a lot of, there was an opinion among the Republican establishment at least that, okay, this is gonna be bad for Republicans in the fall and that Patrick's gonna, he's too extreme for Texas voters uh, and that therefore he's going to do much worse than say people, someone like Greg Abbott or George P. Bush. And the results of the election say most Texas voters, at least the people who vote, they didn't think that way. So, you know, Patrick Watt lost a few voters. It does seem at least some Republicans maybe voted for the Libertarian LG candidate. But by and large, there was no penalty uh, against, uh, Patrick suffered no adverse consequences for going as far to the right as he needed to in the primary in order to defeat David Dewhurst. Now, we'll have to see what happens once we get to Austin, but, you know, by and large, there was no blowback against uh, Patrick or Ken Paxton, for that matter, for going so far to the right as they needed to to win the GOP primary.